Uh, both candidates already holding an elected office, but they're vying for another one. Teresa Mosqueda wants to leave Seattle City Council to King County Council to focus on public health. Sophia Aragon wants to give up her role as Burien mayor to address public safety. I asked both candidates about the two biggest issues facing District 8 and King County. For both candidates, one of the biggest issues facing District 8 is homelessness. I would love to work with the Regional Homelessness Authority and our state legislative partners to provide a stable revenue stream for the King County Regional Homelessness Authority so that it can be successful. For every given night, there might be 10,000 people on the street. There's only room for 5,000 people. So we need that transitional housing so we can bring people inside and then direct them to what they need. And then the ultimate goal is finding them affordable housing. What are some things that you think you could do to help reduce crime? What we can do is make sure that people have a stable place to live and that they have the health services, the personnel necessary to make sure that they're getting the counseling or health um, services needed to keep them stably housed. Those are things that we can do to help reduce crime. Aragon says the defunding police movement helped lead to an officer shortage and supports increasing the King County Sheriff's Office budget. What do you think can be done to help the increase in crime? Well, I think a lot of it occurs because we don't have the officers out there um, to address those crimes. Um, but there's other ways that we could help. So, for example, the Sheriff's Office does have a program called uh, public safety by environmental design, where the way you design your streets and your neighborhoods, you can assist small businesses so that they can create an environment where crime is less likely to happen. Aragon also wants to focus on the fentanyl crisis, and Mosqueda wants to make District 8 a workforce development hub. But both candidates agree that the voter turnout for the primaries were low, so they're urging everyone to hit the ballot box if they haven't already. And you have until 7 p.m. on Tuesday to turn in your ballot. For now, live in West Seattle, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.